Hyperion Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 Experimental Series. So we had an update, um, and I looked through the patch notes, and it's not worth doing a restart for. Uh, the only thing a restart would do would potentially change some of the creature spawns on the planet. Um, some of the patrol spawns might change a little bit from from like overlord patrols to the uh, to the ripper dog patrols. So, eh, you know what? Uh, I think we would just continue on with this save right now because the changes that were made are not worth restarting for, in my opinion. It's not a significant enough change to, to worry about. Everything else is logistics changes and background changes and stuff like that. Fixes, bug fixes and whatnot. Which um, I was looking through and I don't need to restart for. So <laughs> we're not going to. This just ran out of power as we're talking. So uh, let's put some more in. We don't need a lot of water, just some, so let's collect some of no, we're up to eight. Eh, whatever. Uh so you can see that we made all the parts that it was asking us to make. And I also made a small cargo container for bases. Now you can you notice that the volume is we're almost at triple what we can normally do uh, because that hasn't been implemented in the game options YAML uh, for this save anyway um, and it hasn't been enabled yet by default not this latest patch either so we're not going to enable it we're not going to restart we're not going to do anything other than continue playing so I think what we need to do is act kind of like how we're supposed to do this so we can't necessarily carry this on us walk over and build something because this is too heavy so what we're supposed to do here let's what we're supposed to do is throw this back in here and now that puts us under load uh, what I think we're supposed to oh, well is everything spoiling now probably that's okay that's fine that's fine we've got enough food an hour and a half okay um, so it says the last thing to do for this part is to power the vessel now I'm thinking let's test out this container to yeah I know I've got the Wi-Fi signal so now I'm close enough thank you thank you for telling us that so let's put a cargo box small cargo container we're gonna look at this and we don't get any right-click options at all. So that's it, just whatever this is. And it looks like we can rotate it. Yeah, so... Okay. Yeah, we'll flip that to the back. There we go. Or where we're supposed to. I don't know, maybe we're not supposed to look at the top. <laughs> okay, so let's access this thing. And you can see now we can uh, disconnect. So we can now connect this cargo box to our toolbar. See that? It gives us that the extra thing, so that's where we actually do this. 
So we got to put stuff in the small cargo container. So that's the challenge, getting it now from your constructor. And let's see, we can carry maybe one thing at a time. Let's see. No, no, that was way too heavy. Okay, so we'd like have to move those two. See, and there's no with the portable constructor. There's no Wi-Fi or anything. You, you just gotta lift it out of there. So I'm not sure what they plan on doing with things that are too heavy to carry. Period. Like the small generator. Like, like, are you completely screwed if you make one without having somewhere to put it? I'm just not sure. It just, it won't let you, it would not let you pick that up if we had that thing enabled. So, uh, uh, I'm not really sure how they plan on implementing that. I think that's why they haven't implemented it yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we're not going to worry about that. What we will do is get the stuff into the container and we'll, we'll utilize it the way they want us to utilize it. You know, let's just put two, uh, two tons. Like, we would not... 60 tons. Like, how, how would we pick that up? How would we pick that up as loot? In a loot box somewhere? We couldn't. We'd be screwed. That's a, It doesn't make any sense right now, so I'm not really sure what they're going to do about that. Let's just grab this stuff that... I know I'm way overweight, but like I was saying, it's, it's out of whack right now anyway, and that's why we we didn't enable it. Okay, you can see we're like <laughs> way overweight, 661 tons. So let's. I mean, we wouldn't be able to do this. We just wouldn't be able to do this period. We wouldn't even be able to pick up any of those items. So I'm really not sure how that would even be done. Okay, so let's put all this stuff into here. Okay. And then we're going to connect I believe now we're at 195. I believe now we can go like this and put that there. See that has no impact on our volume now. Yeah, see that no impact. And it's still as soon as I put it in the bar, it's back in the cargo, small cargo containers mass again, or volume. So this bar is literally just this cargo container in a, uh, I don't know, I guess they're just extra slots for the cargo container when you do the, when you do this. What about when you unclick it while you have something in the slot? It just puts it back. Okay. I was actually willing to sacrifice there for for testing period. Did you see that? Did you see that? That was pretty bold. So we'll put all this in here. I didn't make any blocks other than the ones that it requested at this point. Uh, we have this 
multi-turret, which is pretty awesome that we looted. Uh, and we can't use that. That's CV. That's base. Okay. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this with me. Okay. Um, you can also see that a cargo, even a small cargo container, is... Um, substantially larger than your own inventory and by about three-fifths okay so you can see in our toolbar we have all the parts for the hover vessel so so we could technically let's see what happens when we get out of Wi-Fi range and turn around to avoid automatic disconnect. Let's see, there we go. We lost our bar. I bet we have to go put that, all that back again. Yep. So we'll reconnect. And we can just, we should, nope, that's, it won't click into there. So is there a different, if there, is there a different, Maybe a control click? No. Uh, shift right click? No. There, there's got to be a, a quick hot key combo to just put stuff from here onto the bar. I'm just not sure what it is yet, if there is one. Anyway, we'll do it manually. Okay, let's not get disconnected this time. So we'll just stand here. Actually, you know what? Here, let's... Wait, I just turned that off. Derp, derp. Let's stand up here. Might we have any critters come, except for the spitty bugs, which... It looks like we're fine here. I, I haven't seen any spawns immediately in the vicinity. So, I think we're okay here. Okay, so, well, let's do this. We're going to launch the drone to help us build with. Whenever I launch the drone, I like to go into another window and then go back into the drone. Uh, our easiest way is just tab in and out. Get your radar back. Okay, so... It looks like the direction that I'm facing is still when you're placing a vehicle starter. It looks like it doesn't matter which direction is north and south. So it was only the base starter that just needed to be, was just forcing itself to be one direction. So, okay, I don't want it that way. I'm going to have to turn this way. Let's get it lined up here. Like that. Okay. So, we can start this. This looks good right about here. There's our vehicle starter. Um... How do I... Do I flip it like this? Okay. And then... Then I can select. Okay. Okay, so I gotta flip back and forth to get... Oh, weird. It pre-textures the blocks now to a different texture. Okay, whatever. So we're going to retrieve these. That'll give us some steel blocks to work with too, so. Okay, we're going to leave that one. 
Actually, I should have left the two. I left, uh... Okay, so where did that go? Where did that go? I, it didn't go in my inventory. Didn't go... What? Survival tool. Oh, they changed the icon for a couple of things. See that? Okay, uh... Whoa. Go into here? Yeah. Huh. So it doesn't multi-tool onto your bar. It multi-tools back into the container that you're connected to. Wasn't that interesting? That's very interesting. Okay, that's unexpected behavior, but I guess you have to be like that or else you're not going to be able to pick anything up, right? So... We need to build like a Wi-Fi unit to make the Wi-Fi signal strength farther. Huh. I still don't know how you're going to transfer stuff if you're in a POI. I hope the Wi-Fi signal booster is enough because that would suck. Go do a POI and you can't loot anything because it's too heavy. Oh, fun times. Okay, um, I actually kind of want to leave that block, so let's switch back here, and then I'm not sure what, if there's a quick key to do that with when you're in the drone. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's replace that block. I didn't really want to take that one out. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put two of these to the front. Like that. And then we're going to run some more blocks here. Come on. There we go. Okay, and then we'll put the, come on, put these last two, my last two right here at the back. Okay, so from here, we'll put our cockpit on. Uh, what are we going to want? We're going to want one of these smaller three by two. Three by two by six, though that's way too deep. Are they all the same? No. See, those are lighter. Well, that's good to know. So at least it's not quite as heavy. So because you have to put other blocks around to seal it. So uh, let's go with this one. It's got a clear, a nice clear. Uh, Let's do, is that right? Yeah. Put that right there. And then the, what's the weight difference here? Can we look at it? Yeah. One ton, 500 kilograms, half the weight. So, how should I do this? Should I make another fuel tank to balance it out? Let's do that. Let's do that. So, it's too bad you can't uh, bring up the... <laughs> 
Uh, okay, we're going to have to go lose connection and rebuild that bar again. Because I got this too far away. Don't I? Well, it doesn't matter. I mean... So you got to keep that in mind now. Your, your uh, portable constructor, you're going to have to be able to, like... I don't know how you're going to move stuff out of your portable constructor at this point. I don't know how you're going to pick stuff up if it's if it's more volume than what you can carry. Don't know. They're going to have to figure that out cuz that's that's not going to be good if you can't do that. So we've got these Xeno steel blocks. I don't want to use those. Uh they're CVBA and only um let's make the fuel tank. That's it right there. I could also make like full on thrusters and RCS and everything. But we're just going to go with the starter stuff right now. Um, I would actually think I'm going to need an SVHV container. And we can make a mobile constructor. So let's do that too. Although it probably is it going to want us to do that later on. Let's take a look at our uh, PDA and see. Um, okay. Oh, it's not. We didn't get the updated PDA because we didn't restart the scenario. That's okay. Apparently the new PDA shows them all, shows all the ones, um, so you can actually s see what you're going to be doing in the future so you don't have to uh, redo stuff that you've done, but as long as it lets you check the box off if you've already done it, then that's not that big of a deal. So let's grab these. So they aren't too heavy. Well, that's good. That will be. <laughs> so that's only 50 kilograms. That's nice and light, actually. It's only 50 kilograms per block. That works out to be, what is that, three blocks? So that works out to be, you know, just shy of 300 kilograms per block. So that's, the cargo containers are actually quite light. Okay, so we've got those. Do we need anything else? I think we're going to need some spotlights. So let's make three of those. And we'll get two docking pads. Okay. Well, in the meantime, don't necessarily need all of them. <coughs> so we can reestablish our Wi Fi. Put the stuff in here. And now we can redo the connection. And put the stuff into our toolbar. Okay. So, we have one generator, which is kind of heavy, so we're going to put this like this, and then we're going to do the fuel tanks to either side. Like that, and like that. Um, we're going to put the... 
going to put this. You know what? We're going to hang this off the back. We're going to hang this off the back, too. Put it right there. And then we can stick that there for now. Okay, that technically should get us mobile. So the thing, the next thing it wants to do is power it up. Okay, that's fine. What we're going to need to do is get some more biofuel going, I think. Oh, look at that. It's almost... It, oh, it lo we lost connection. So it gives us a couple seconds by the end of it to get back into range before we completely disconnect. Um, 16 biofuel, that's not going to cut it. Although we do have a mobile generator. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go like this. We're going to grab this stuff. We're going to grab... You know what? We're just going to grab it all for now. Or no. No. What do we need? We're going to need build. Yeah, we're going to need all this. We're going to need it all. Don't really need that. We'll take that. Don't need any of that stuff right now. Okay. So we're way overweight again. We'd never be able to carry all this stuff. So again, keep that in mind when you're when you're putting down your constructor. You're gonna to want to put that like literally build your base around it, I guess. Cargo box within reach of your constructor. So we'll put this in here, um, and then we can set up our Wi-Fi again. We've got to get used to doing this. That's why I keep doing this. Okay, so let's switch to here. We're going to do this one because I love the, the light spread on the front like this. That's really good. Okay, so it's going to be horribly unbalanced to the back. But we are going to be putting stuff off the front, so that should balance it out. Well, I guess um, let's, can we, can we link this? Not display same container both, okay, yeah. Player. Hover vessel base. So we can flip stuff directly to the hover vessel. Can we can we highlight multi so we can't highlight multiple things like that, eh? Okay. Can we, if, what if we shift? No, if we can pick that up, put it there. Yep. Okay. And then all this in there. Like that. Yep. Can we change, change that to go directly into the Constructor, no. Okay. Because I think the constructor has to look at the cargo container now for its... I think that's how it works. So let's... Now that we have that link, we can actually link from the cargo container now, right? Base, cargo container, small. 
<laughs> so okay and then and then what we go like this so we have no connection at all right and then then what's this do we go like this and that will allow us to there we go hover vessel okay so you can only be obviously connected to one thing at a time you have to disconnect that connection and reconnect to a different thing by the look of it okay that's fair enough fair enough that's indicating two items that are within material transfer distance see that see how that works there we get a number two okay we're learning we're learning uh, that's why we're doing this so next thing is turn my shoulder light on wow it's getting dark so I think because it's getting dark and all my food is spoiled anyway eat some more of this we're gonna have to go on a food hunt now let's test this Where's, where is my tent what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect how do we how do we can we can we like force a disconnect yes right from that okay okay so what I want to do is test to see if food spoils in our toolbar in our own personal toolbar when we jump in the tent so so in our inventory I know it'll spoil for sure so we're at 140 and 64 let's put the tent down help get rid of some of this grass here anyway because it's a lawnmower it's a time machine and a lawnmower my tents are so awesome. Let's do this. And let's see what we got. 127 and 54. So we did lose a little bit. Not much though. Way less than if it's in your inventory it seems. That's really bizarre. Okay. That's fine. Let's grab this and oh, we should have a bunch more did I make bi more biofuel or was I just derping I think I just derped didn't I yeah yeah that's fine okay well I guess we can just Survival tool has ammo? No. Okay. A little bit left there. Okay. A couple items with them with a couple things left. Let's jump in. And what what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna group this up really quick here. We'll go into the fuel tanks. We can do it straight from here too. We can also go into the constructor. Now, this is where, see, please assign container from drop down. Input, cargo container, output. Is the same as the input cargo container, I guess. This is interesting. So now it will grab from the car con cargo container and put back into the cargo container by the look of it. Let's test that because we're going to be putting um, and that it only does its own cargo container by the look of it. Huh. 
I w let's let's try something. Oops, I didn't. I I went to jump out and I bumped the Y. Also, congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we finished. It's working. Hop in and give it a spin. Well, it's not working yet. We didn't even fuel it up. Whatever. I hit Y and it completed the mission. Let's jump out for a second. Um, what I want to do is do the hit F. I want to connect with this. Now I want to jump back in here. And then I want to go into okay aha I want to switch so I wonder if it'll give us an option Oh, let's see. Let's see. Mobile constructor. What is this button going to do? I don't know. Oh. Oh, okay. It just brings you to the container menu. Okay. Uh, is there, will this bring us right back to, yep, okay, good, good. Okay. Um, that's fine, it didn't give us the option, so it doesn't matter if we're connected or not. So, if that's the case, we should be able to just bring up this, go like this, disconnect from there, because that doesn't seem to matter. Oh, wait, that's the hover vessel one. Oh, look at that. Okay, so now I'm connected to the... Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's the one I'm supposed to be connected to. And then... Is there... What's the... I don't know what the, the hotkey for that is yet. It might be like... Shift one or something. Shift. Shift one. No, that does nothing. Shift one. No. Okay. So. And you can't select one while in this screen. Okay. What about shift two? Doesn't matter about the shift. Okay. And then how do we get back to what the huh? Um, how do we get back? So now we have, oh, we just threw, well, where's our stuff? Did it all go into, okay, now, now I'm freaking confused. I got nothing in my own personal inventory while I'm sitting down. That doesn't seem right. And, yeah, see, I've got a personal inventory. Okay, and then when I jump in, I lose my personal inventory. So if I tab, I still lose my personal inventory. Okay. Okay, tabbing doesn't seem to matter. Uh, okay, so f good to know. Well, let's put fuel on this thing. That's good. And then we should be able to hover up to 1.5. Yep. 
Okay, I'm just gonna jump out for a second and take a look to see how badly imbalanced this is. And it's badly imbalanced, see that? Okay, so let's continue making stuff. So if we jump in and now we go into the mobile constructor, it's still set equals input. Oh, okay, so you can set it to equals input instead of trying to find which container in the drop down is the proper one, I guess. That's good. That's good. Um, what we need to do is we need to unlock some stuff. What can it make? What can it make us? scanner it can make the harvest module it can make the gatling gun it can make all the ammo it can make our our uh, oh the assault rifle is a different model cool and we've got we've got quite a bit okay so I think what we should do then is we should go ahead and make the harvest module. I gotta make the harvest module container then, right? Container controller harvest. Oh no. I gotta unlock that. Unlock level three. Container controller harvest. ammo. Oh crap. Cargo container medium. Base. SV. HV. HV only. Oh. Okay. So crap. Do we not have the unlock points? Probably not. We've got 20. So let's take a look. We need the Harvest. Aha, they're down here. The, the container controller harvest. Container controller ammo. And I guess container controller. Required for module containers. Container expansion. We don't have the points for that. Got detector, ventilator, we don't need that yet. Minigun turret. Uh, what about six points? Six points. Six points. Portable healer cooler. Bad idea. So I've already taken the wireless connector. And we should be able to make that now. Uh, six points, six points. Let's do the detector. We can throw that off the front, but it's going to weigh this thing so badly. Like right now, it moves okay, and it gets up to speed pretty good, and you can see it doesn't use a lot of power. It's pretty good. It's nice and smooth. Not bad. Okay, so let's see how it is on water. It's gonna capsize, it might, but it seems okay. Okay, so as we add more stuff, these hover thrusters are gonna be just completely freaking useless, but that's okay. We should be able to straighten out here. 
Um, now that we've learned those items, we should be able to make them now. Yep, there they are. So we're going to make that. We're going to make that. We're going to make a container controller. should make us have a longer extension and we can do that to the base also. So we need two of those. What else are we going to need? We're going to need a detector. So you can see it's making the stuff and putting it in there now. And that makes a lot of sense, especially if it's parts that you're making to make other stuff with. Okay, so now what we can do is we should be able to just... We put this... No, we can't, we can't grab anything. That's what these lock symbols are. You can't touch anything from this menu. You can just look at it. Okay. That's fine. So now all that went into there. We need the Gatling guns. And we're going to need a bunch of ammo. So we'll do 1,000, 2,000. Also need a ore scanner. Oh, what else are we going to need? Better gun. Better, better personal gun with some ammo. So that's 50 each. Steel plate 8 copper. Ooh, not cheap. Very expensive ammo. So we're just going to make. Okay, so as this stuff goes into here, we should have access to the cargo container. So let's cargo box container. And now we should just be able to put this stuff in our no. We're sitting, we're sitting down, that's why. So we've got to jump out. And now... Now can we put the stuff here? No? Um... Harvest container. Now it's working. Ugh. I... Ing. <laughs> uh, gooey interface bugs. Wow. Okay. Let's put this in here. And I guess it's not done yet. That's fine. Get this stuff in there. should just show up as two of them in there. Now, I wonder... No, because it'll... It breaks the pair up if I... Don't have it in there. Uh, so, can we 
just look at the we can't look at the right we have to go directly into it to see the queue and oh I think it just finished making it yeah it did okay so Let's go back to here. We can go into here again then. No, not there. We go into here. You gotta get used to not going in there to grab anything. That's just a link, it's a container now. It's just the only reason to go in there is to queue stuff up. So from here, we grab that. Okay. And we'll be able to put that into the am ammo directly. I don't see it filling up. So it's it doesn't auto refresh by the look of it. Yeah, I don't see it appearing at all. What if we went like this and then went like this? No? It just threw everything back in. Oh, wait, now now it updated. Oh my god, really? Doesn't take that long. There we go. See that? Okay, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it wasn't refreshing at first. I think they still have some some graphical inter base bugs to work out here by the look of it. Okay, so now we should be able to just place stuff in. Yep. Let's launch the drone. And let's start with the grinder that on there. Uh, I need to get weight forward more, so we're going to need to get this stuff forward. Now, how much does that weigh? It's really freaking heavy, isn't it? So let's do this. Like that. And then, here, let's jump in. See if it resorts itself out here. It looks like it's it looks like it's a little better. Yeah, it's getting better. Okay, so let's throw some more weight forward of center. There, yeah. Right there. Okay. And then we'll put the. I didn't look to see how much those weighed. Uh, 50 and 50. Good. They balance, and that's 50. Good. And those are. 50. Okay, so they all weigh the same. That's good. 150, so those are quite quite a bit heavier, but they are also two blocks, so not that much heavier. Okay, cool. Um, so I guess what we'll do is we'll put these connectors and stuff on. this out a bit here so we'll, we'll do this down below here I think so we'll do harvest box here we'll do the ammo there and then we'll do the whatever the Wi-Fi signal booster there we can put the other one here 
and then so now they should be able to talk together quite with quite a good distance between them I'm not sure what this does and it looks like I don't know uh, required for modular containers CPU 50 points in energy and replaceable SVHV okay okay oh yeah okay well it wasn't letting me at first what doesn't let me oh it won't let me do it touching another container that's what the issue is although other container other than regular containers. Although it won't let me touch there. Oh, because this is SV. I, I can't put it on the base anyway. Um, well, that's kind of a dilemma. I didn't really want that hanging off the back. Oh, well. Let's do it. I might have to move the guns quite a bit forward. Okay, well, it's not too bad. Like that, jump out, take a look. Actually, that's, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. It's kind of balancing out with the the stuff we're throwing off the front there so that's not too bad okay I think we're gonna go with that so now we should just be able to go from the cargo right we don't need to look in here anymore what I will do is get this queued up we need a whole bunch Got 23 we'll start harvesting more start harvesting more so how is all that gonna work stay tuned because that's next episode we're gonna take this thing out and get this all figured out so still until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>